Hey folks, Quilly Teen here, and welcome to another episode of Quill Overbuilds Everything and Never Completes Any Jobs and Times. It is RimWorld! And we have ballooned up to a population of six people in our colony. Uh, but yeah, we really need to get some proper defenses online. This has gotten a little bit ridiculous. But everything has been happening in kind of weird order. I mean, maybe that's more common with the solo person start. I don't know. Uh, we can at some point remove these static defenses we've got set up here as we set up, even if not a kill zone, just a proper kill hallway is probably the most important thing we can go and set up. Uh, ooh, doing a little bit of preparing there. We might want to prep a few more graves as well. But yeah, we're setting up a wooden wall here just because the material will be a lot easier to get. And it might be worth throwing more construction on. Although Hope and Smogger do have a uh, um, passion for it. And it would be nice to train up Smogger to be ready to do some bigger work. So yeah, probably okay. I'll have to remember to set some home zoning on our construction here afterwards as well. Actually, I guess I may as well do it now. Just so that it's ready to be rebuilt if something should happen. And then around here, the plan will be to build some just a little bit of flooring around the door here. So we'll make sure to preemptively get the home area to cover that. Okay. Fawn's not in a great mood. Why don't you go and like, I guess we could let you finish the mining, but no, you got to go and take care of yourself there, Fawns. Come on, buddy. You can do it. We need a proper storehouse as well, just to improve the look of these places and then do some more flooring as well for the looks. But I think the construction efforts will definitely be spent on the wall at this time. That's just a little bit too important. Or, you know, I guess a little bit of this too to get our temple going, which wouldn't be a bad thing. So I don't need this ritual spot anymore. Because that should be replaced by some of these other things. I think we can use this as a place to start the ritual. We're, yeah, we're going to have to make some little kneeling pillows at some point too, but... I'll have to wait. We do have some more fertile terrain over here. We can set up some more farming. Need those coolers going once we get the material. We still have components. We are running a little lower in components, but yeah, we've got some. What is this, Flak Panther? Oh, Tainted. Yeah. <laughs> we haven't got any proper trading caravans in a while. I guess we can always arrange our own. Ugh, social fight. Oh, from the conversions. Yeah, it's got to go the other way, buddy. Oh, cooldown's nearly up, and yeah, we'll hopefully do it in the temple this time. It should hopefully work out well. We still don't have a proper doctor. I mean, we could maybe turn off the doctoring for the people who are really bad at it. But it hardly matters, and I think we'll just keep letting people send self-tend themselves. It might be slightly more time efficient. I mean, the quality is low, but so be it. Hope needs some medical treatment. No, yeah, you're doing it. Really no permanent wounds on anyone. Wow, you got the smoke leaf was going on at the same time too, huh? Jeez. Okay, you got a nice room. We are going to need to build you a double bed in here soon too. Marriage hasn't happened yet. Bedroom unhappiness. Oh yeah, it's dirty in here. That's why. Well, we could bring up the clean. We'll wait. All right, cooldowns are up. But yeah, I want this to finish. And these beds aren't good enough, so they're being deconstructed and then rebuilt. I think it's probably fine. I think we can hit that stage in the game. If I go into mod options and quality builder is I will set it to good. So by default now, when we put down a building, um, uh, something that's got quality, if it comes out less than good, we'll tear it down and rebuild it. And it's just going to save me a few clicks. Did your construction go up while doing this? Oh, maybe you were doing some maintenance or repair work. That's likely. I thought you were crafting, but no. You are level six now, which means we could go. And you've got the crafting as well. We can go and make you a maker, which would be wonderful. Let's do that right away. I will disable some work that Smogger can do. But it's going to give, I think it's plus one quality level to anything with a quality level that they either construct or craft. There we go. Roll change done. And then you just give you the production command, but that's going to be fine. Yes, yeah. so you can see it disabled a bunch of things, but that's OK. Um, there's going to be plenty of stuff to construct and then there's going to be plenty of stuff to Smith and Taylor. And then if not, you can. Yeah, you can make blocks or something like that. And that's, I think, going to be OK. I don't think we disabled anything else that you might have had passion for. Hopefully not. But yeah, you sh this should keep you busy and it will be a pretty big win overall to have you do that kind of thing. 
be nice if someone was playing chess with you. Develop some more friendships would be okay. Hope still recovering from some injuries. Yeah, you're going to spend a lot of time building the walls, and now you're going for rest. Okay. All good. All fine. Um, I mean, it's not quite as high of a priority, but let's put that down, and then we can put someone in this room. Actually, Fawns, we're going to want you to have your own bedroom now. That should help your mood going forward. Okay, we're nearing the end of winter, which is good. It's still quite chilly outside. More maintenance. Okay, we'll want some floors in here. Yeah, I don't want to overdo the construction because I want the walls to go up. Go, walls, doors. We've got lots of wood, which is why we're doing it with wood instead of stone. What we might do is we could decide to double layer it and just put a stone layer on the outside. That might be a, a perfectly fine way to deal with this. And then, yeah, we'll have to build another over here. At least now we can sort of control the direction of the encounter. Okay. I do wonder if we should start making some guns immediately. Actually, we might want to make get started with just some simple helmets as a first priority here. Do until X. Keep one around. Um, keep one around with at least 80% hit points, actually. But yeah, starting to get some helmets would be huge, because we, we don't want head injuries if we can avoid it. I mean, I know, what a crazy concept, but maybe we don't want our colonists to have permanent brain damage from, from lead poisoning, from acute lead poisoning. Or even just get it from getting bashed on the head. Okay, these two coolers are up, so we're going to go ahead and set these. We don't have a double wall. We don't have a airlock set up. And in fact, there might even be through traffic, which is non-ideal. We do need to get some more power, I suspect, especially with these coolers up. I think it's not just a shortage of batteries, although it might be. Next thing we're going to research is going to be solar panels. Whether I build another wind turbine or not, I think I will. Now, in a way, this is like maybe the cleanest way to overlap. It doesn't matter. We're using up the same space and this way they face the same way, which in my opinion is much more important. So we're going to do that. We'll get another wind turbine prepped. And that's going to be okay. Hope when you get up. Oh, um, oh, right. We can do conversion rituals for spears. Yes, let's run that immediately. I know there's no lights going on right now. We're getting brownouts, all those things. We're going to do this. Even if we don't get a super high quality one, this should make more of a change than just using our power. And there's a chance that it one shots it. It's 47% to go. So we wouldn't use it from just one action. Terrible conversion ritual. Or that can happen and your certainty can go up, which is more than a little annoying. And the fawn's going on a binge. You're still upset that you got in prison that time. That's fine. You can do the ambrosia binge. That's not ambrosia. That's that's rice. Are you confused about things? All right. Hope. Let me wake you up here. Are you still unresting? No. Oh. Don't bed rest. We need you to get up. Okay, you ate. Oh, I think someone fed you, which is good. Prioritize work in this turbine, please. No, no, no. I know you're like wooden wall because the progress has actually started a little bit on it. Ambrosia addiction. Oh, Fawns. Oh, we don't have enough steel. Really? So I thought we were mining some excess steel, but I guess it got used up by various crafting. Lifest, um, yeah, deal with it. We just have to convert spear. Mathis is in a daze. Daughter died. Okay, that's fine. We can let you go through that. That's okay. okay These power brownouts are certainly getting a little annoying. I mean, at least soon the heaters won't have to work. And actually, speaking of the heaters... I'm going to set these down to 16, which is enough to not have people feel like they slept in the cold. Although that won't apply to the fawns. Maybe this one here, we do actually keep it at a 21. Um, that, the, the heaters will try less hard, so they'll use a little less power. It's possible with just enough wind, one of these will work fine. Still think we'll get the second one. So even with not a full windy day, more of a chance that we'll get full power. Still want the extra battery. And then, yeah, I'll, I'll slap some solar panels in between there once we do get the tech. But all those bruises are annoying. Slowly crafting some more clothing here. 
Okay, mining is happening, which is good. As the steel comes up, we'll try to finish the uh, the power setup. I mean, we still want the walls up. So we need these little power cables done, too. Maddie's very upset. Impressive, awesome. Drowsy. Are you going to sleep? I mean, you are you are all on a biphasic schedule, so I actually would expect those moods to stay better overall than they seem to be. Good. Okay, and that's being brought here, and that's being worked on. Lovely. Okay, good. We need these power cables. And it was reserved, but we can get two people working on these sort of projects. There, I think you're connected to the grid. Yes, you are. Okay. Excess stored. Are you still down? I guess even with the excess, it wasn't quite enough. Need. Oh, there's also a tree in the way, which is annoying. Do we have to turn on the auto cut for each one of these individually? Oh, okay. There you go. Get you going so we get the full power. Battery charged a tiny little bit. There you go. Get rid of those trees. Excellent. Still want the second battery, and then yeah, I'll still want a solar panel. Just just one, because it'll guarantee that it'll charge during the day and should help to ensure very stable power for a while now. Hope you're still not happy about your bedroom. There's just not enough cleaning going on. I mean, we need to get all this stuff floored too, just to manage the dirt, but why don't you wake up and clean up your room? There you go. Now it's gotten to slightly impressive. Okay. You're gonna finish the wall, which is nearly done. Man, you do work on this stuff fast. There you go. Power go up. Everything seems to be on. That's great news. Um, hope your cooldowns are, yeah, still cooling down. Try to tame these bison or the muffalo. Or if we can just get some more Ibexes. We do actually have... People with animal handling passion. Okay, I'm going to turn this off now. You've got a six. You've also got a six currently. Although Spears got the double passion. No, 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 we'll leave them both on. I'm wondering... No, there's no Ibexes around right now. That's too bad. So I was going to see about taming them. Food situation is fine. Freezer is frozen. This egg is spoiled, um, which I think we won't cook with this because of where it is. I think. Oh, you will be hauled somewhere. Where are you going to be hauled? Oh, no storage space. I was going to say. Um, let's allow fertilized eggs here. So someone will bring you out that way. And then we'll turn it off now so it doesn't get moved around anymore, like from the field. But this way that egg can decay because I don't think it's going to get used for anything. Got some tattered apparel complaints, <laughs> but in theory, clothing might happen, especially if we can get ourselves a little bit more leather. I'm not worried about getting a new prisoner room up yet because we don't have a prisoner. This wall is all set up. This is fine. That, that's enclosed. So that's good. We have to get started on the next security wall as well. We have to go and get ourselves enclosed here. So let's plan that. And what we'll plan on doing is enclosing this here. Uh, that will also require a bridge. But I think that's going to have to be okay because I kind of want the steel enclosed. Actually, if we mine all the way through, we'll have to enclose the other side. But that's okay. Um, let's plan... Let's plan oop, an airlock here. Oh my God, how many misclicks can I do? Cancel. We'll do one over here. And then over here, I'm gonna leave the opening there and then we'll build a trap corridor over this way. Or do I just plan the kill box immediately? I suppose I should make plans for it, which, first of all, should be... Oh, my God. Too far zoomed out. I just had a lot of coffee, so my hands are shaky. Um, we'll leave a gap there. And then plan to build the kill box that way. And then we can do a little trap corridor over here. Oh, so I should have a, maybe a pair of airlocks ready to go. Flanking where the kill box area will be. There and there. Just need to be a little further over. You know what? Let's do it a little further over. Like so. And then, yeah, just leave that open. Okay. Mm, break risks. I don't know. Everything sucks. I'm done. 
that. Botch, botch, botch. Skull's deteriorated. That's fine. Okay. Athos, what are you up to right now? Psychotic wandering. Okay. No, we can deal with that. Some moods have gotten better. I mean, this is still an issue. Yeah, I guess we might have to prioritize. Let's get Maddie into one of these rooms as well. Since you're depressive. Uh, let's not put it there, actually. And then... Well, Javi, you're going to share a room over here. I guess, okay, hold on. Furniture, double bed. Boom. And that'll be Javi and Hopes. Let me check my ideology. What is our lovey-dovey rules? Uh, where is it? No, 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 marriage name. Oh, physical love, spouse only, mild. So yeah, if they did sleep together beforehand, it wouldn't be the end of the world, but that's why we're not getting the request to share a bed. Yeah, if they'll do their marriage soon, and then we'll move them to the double bed in the meantime. Um, hope can keep doing that. Okay, Spears got the major break risk over here. Burning Passion for work right now is helpful. Yeah, you still need some conversion to go on. You need these powers to go. I mean, hopefully casual conversation is happening to help you as well. Double research bench is going on. That's okay. We're going to finish the flak armor and then go into solar power. Although our power situation is fine now. We may be out of components. I, ooh, I don't like the idea of low yield while we're looking for components here. Oh, well, let's mine one of these anyway. Life fist will be upset. Deal with it. Just convert. We don't have a leader yet. We didn't build any Neil pillows, mostly because I don't have the material, because I want to use it primarily for clothing. There you go. Maddie's got a decent room. I guess Spear's going to keep being kind of cranky, so we'll give him uh, one of these other rooms. We don't have an air conditioner set up in here yet, but that's okay. And even here, the temp might not quite reach. We might want a pair of heaters, especially in the colder days, but only 13 right now is not too bad. Yeah, try to convert Spear. You do that. Added apparel is still happening. Yeah, a bunch of tainted stuff. We only need merchants so we can trade that stuff to someone. At some point, we'll just start burning eating it. We'll get a, um, we'll get a cremation thing and we'll do that. Okay. No sense in making the kill corridor until the rest of the walls are up because people could just otherwise avoid it. I wonder if they have the means to set up a mechanator at this juncture. Because it would be awfully nice to get ourselves a hauling and a cleaning bot fairly early, wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it would be. More rice plants, which is good. Food situation's kind of maintaining, but certainly could be a lot better. Um, we probably want to plant some more cotton because we've got more people. We do need more clothing for them. And it tends to be one of the things we want a lot. Or do I want to start planting the Devil Strand? Well, we can replace the cotton with Devil Strand later. I think it's a fine idea. Um, maybe the easiest way is to... Block it out this way first and then clear the areas. I don't know what's fewer clicks in this situation. And yeah, I just want to grow on the most fertile land just to be the most time efficient. Go, and this is all going to be cotton. Okay. Move those rocks out of the way, please. Everyone's asleep. Not the fawns. Fawns still researching. We are still on the same schedule for everyone. Yep. Yeah. And the biphasic for now, I think, is a good idea. Shuttle has arrived. To collect the cats. Oh, yes. Okay. We'll put an auto load on there. I think it'll be an animal handling job, so it should happen fairly quickly. Unless it's a hauling job, which is possible. Cats are currently asleep. Oh, I think Javi. Yep. Yeah, Javi's grabbing them. Perfect. I think you're ready to go. 
boom. Pods arrived with our Glitter World medicine. So we'll do a high priority haul on that because we don't want that to get the king. Loyal Cat's done. Finish research on Flak Armor, which will be over here. Um, do we start setting up the jobs for this? Uh, including the Flak Helmet. Although a Flak Helmet actually does need... No, it doesn't need Plasteel. It just needs the component. Okay. The arc's a little bit weird here. It looks like it needs Plasteel. Or does it always? Oh, it does always, plus a metal. That's not optional. Okay. We don't have the Plasteel, so we're not going to do this. The Simple Helmets are going to have to stay. Vests and pants. I mean, we won't have the material for it right now. It might still be worth throwing into the queue. Let me copy this, paste, paste. I wonder, we might want to set a crafting skill for this so that things come out high enough quality. Because right now, Smogger is not great at it. Spear is. Yeah, oh, we'll probably do the training job. So I'm going to set these. I'll be fairly, you know, a five isn't a very big ask. But we'll limit you to a five. And then for our training, I can't remember. It was, I think, the fancy cloaks or just the, the kids' parkas. We don't have the fancy cloaks unlocked. So I think the kids' parkas turned out to be a fairly good, like, take a lot of time, but not that much material job. So we can set a do forever. Again, we don't want to use anything fancy. And I'm going to say just a 10. So this is busy work for someone who's got less than 10 skill. Although really we're going to be materially limited and people are going to be doing these things instead. But, oh wait, kid, oh kid pants. That's not what I meant to do. Kid parka. Do forever. There we go. Turn off the throne before and those things. Okay. So I'm going to cancel that job completely. Oh, you already made some. Wow, that was quick. Again, it'll give us something to sell, and yeah, it's something to practice our skill on. It's not the end of the world. Yeah, I'll have to check the wiki again when we get a little further. I think the fancy cloak might have been... Oh, maybe the vest. Maybe it was the formal vests slash corsets, which I think are equivalent. I think those two are actually the... Um, we eat lots and lots of labor. So it's a good way to get good value out of your raw material, but also a good way to train. Chaplain's ready with an ability, so we need to convert Spear, although we have to wait for them to be up. Well, I could wake them up early, but they're about to wake up anyway, so it's fine. And then convert action over here. There we go. Ooh, that is a good chunk. Yeah, you'll be unhappy, but so deal with it. I guess we should have just done that instead of the ritual in the first place. Yeah, hopefully we're growing enough food, but again, we're, we're going to try to supplement with a little bit of hunting. Um, hunt these alpacas. I guess we can hunt, hunt the donkeys. Because they don't fight back. Okay. And if we see some ibexes, we will try to tame them if we can. More farming here. Yeah, we've got a decent amount of rice crops happening. I think... The numbers actually are going up in terms of rice. I guess we, we were going through a winter without much growth period, so we're probably or hopefully fine there. Still don't have the second battery set up, which I would like. Do you have the material for it, Hope? No, you are missing components, right? So we are going to... All right, I'll mine out the rest of this. My fist still getting upset. Yeah, spear just keeps being a problem. But soon! Killing animals, yeah, they're really unhappy. Uh, this bed, and this one here is only normal quality, so yeah, I'm gonna set this to deconstruct. Actually, I'll reassign you to this bed immediately. Oh, you immediately deconstruct the bed, perfect. And then yeah, when you get married, you can do that. Smogger's not nothing to construct right now and doesn't have the ability to do busy work because of the specialization. But I think that has to be okay. Reset this just so that the next time something happens, it's there. What we need is a steady supply of cloth for them to be able to keep crafting nonstop. A few more components happening. Hope you're digging. I'm gonna, oh, Smogger's working on that, which is fine. Good, okay, second battery, and that is connected to power, right, via this battery. Although I might go and build a power circuit here. I guess Smogger can be doing construction, okay. I have to remember how I set up these 
this little kill thing. But I think... Was I putting something in this spot so people didn't use it for cover? I feel like the answer might be yes to that. I kind of feel like what we did... Maybe just that was enough. Did I do this? Because I don't want someone standing here and trying to shoot us. So I feel like I, I was putting some sort of blocker there. Oh, I might. I don't think I want to do the fences out of wood. And actually, this back wall here is likely going to get shot a lot too. So that's actually a pretty good candidate for making just a little out of granite. And then for the traps... Something like this. And then granite fences here. And the idea is to push them or to add a pathfinding cost so that they want to go through the top. But we have this zigzag available for our own people. If they need to get through these areas, they can. Um, we're going to chop these trees so that they don't get in the way of things. I can't remember if that's what I do. This doesn't feel right. Part of me thinks I was doing this, and then maybe still doing this, or just putting a little rock storage in this area. But the fence should also work. And I guess they could stand here behind the fence, but they probably won't have a, an angle to shoot anyone, so I think that's going to be okay. We need a door here for our own peeps to be able to go through this area. And yeah, we're not building the uh, like the defensive kill box yet. But this is an area, a way that people can walk into our base, but to do that, they will have to walk through a bunch of traps. Everything else is sealed in, yes? Door there. Wall. Yeah, I think so. Bedroom unhappiness because it probably got dirty again. Might want to keep people on higher cleaning duties. Well, what I probably want to do is finish flooring this area. Which I think we will... Well, I should let this construction here finish first before I sign any flooring because this is actually kind of important. I may even want to do a stone door here. Just because there's a good chance it gets shot. Same thing with these walls. Well, what we'll probably want to do is double wall with stone in this area. <gasps> Marriage ceremony is triggering. Hooray! And then, yeah, you guys can share a room together, which has already been assigned. Perfect. So they're going to get all sorts of happy thoughts. And we might get our first pregnancy in the not-too-distant future. <gasps> Wouldn't that be lovely? I might want to have the prison room ready. Maybe not the second nutrient paste dispenser yet, but at least this built. So I can slap down some sleep spots. Yeah, I'm going to at least do that and allow this construction to start, which I realize will delay this a little bit. But because of the way things are being set up, we're going to have some traps, which is going to be OK. Um, these rocks here, we'll put a hall command on it to get it out of the way. Remove these stumps because I think they might slow things. Out. I guess they deteriorate over time. Never mind. You can just ignore those. That's going to be fine. Where are you going? Oh, you're hunting a donkey. OK. Oh, you are chilly. You don't have the best gun either. Although, you know what? Hunting with a bow is fine. Mad hair. Probably going for the fawns. Let me just recruit everyone. Bring you in here. Um, Through here, there, fawns. There you go. There you go. Good. And then it should... There you go. Die to the trap. Perfect. Which we'll have to rebuild. Oh, um, this spot here wasn't home zoned, so it's not on an auto rebuild command. There you go. Okay. And then actually, I think these guys are going to have to be set to auto rearm as well. All right. Would love to get more armaments going on. I guess Smogger, sorry to wake you up, but I'm going to give you this and I'm going to give you this knife. Not used to having to equip people's weapons because I love running the equipment manager mod where people go and grab their own gear. There you go. This fertilized egg rotted away, which is okay, because I think it was already non-viable. 
There you go. Fertilized egg over here. Hatches in three days. Temperature's a little on the cold side. See, it's freezing over here. We need a heated barn for the chickens, but most of the year it's going to be fine. But yeah, it would be nice to see those chicken numbers start to go up. So, maybe a big stockpile over here. I was saying more bedrooms, but if this stays as our workshop, which I think is a fine place for it to be, I think maybe we just build a bigger stockpile. We actually, or we mine out all this stone and build a little stockpile next to this with a bunch of shelves. Maybe not a max size room. No, I want a max size room just to make the uh, communications array more efficient once we get to that point. Yeah. Pond's got some hypothermia. I mean, what are you even wearing there, buddy? Just some pants, yeah. So, well, hopefully we'll get enough leather so that you can equip yourself with something else here. Maybe I'll move the order around. I'll put the shirt up first. Because otherwise, they'll make pants. Someone will, like, grab them. And then Fawns will never get something to wear there. We could force him to wear some tainted clothing, but I don't want to. I guess one of the things I never did is I never set for this outfit, which I'm going to reset to call default because it is at the top of the list. Um, I want it so that people take things off that they come tattered. Now, we might not have any replacements. We're not getting... Oh, we actually are getting tattered apparel, so that'll go away. But then we might get replaced with people unhappy because they don't have enough clothing. But we'll deal with that next. Folks, thanks for watching. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.